Depending on the mass of the star, the outcome of a supernova may be one of three bodies, collectively called the compact stars. First, it might form a white dwarf, filled with the dead remnants of a star's core, if the total remaining mass is less than 1.4 times the mass of the Sun or 1.4 solar masses. This is known as the Chandrasekhar limit, found by Indian-American physicist Subramanian Chandrasekhar. As they cool down, they dim and eventually form black dwarfs. If the remaining mass exceeds the Chandrasekhar limit, the white dwarf collapses into a neutron star, a dense star comprised almost fully of neutrons. The discovery of neutron stars made scientists wonder if mm. there was another limit after which they collapsed into something even more dense. And in 1939, physicists Robert J. Oppenheimer and George M. Volkoff, using the work of Richard C. Tolman, formed the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit at 3 to 4 solar masses. If the mass of a neutron star exceeds this limit, it finally collapses into the gravitational beast that is famously called a black hole. 